everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do another bikini body workout full body workout with no equipment and it's gonna last for 20 minutes so get yourself ready put some nice clothes on uh, you will need only an exercise mat and that's basically so let's do this together with follow along exercises with me see you at the back Okay, like I said, we have 20 minutes in front of us, timer, 15 seconds of your rest and 45 seconds of your work, only body and weight exercises. And we're going to start with the first one, I'm going to press my timer on and we can start. Okay, so first one will be curtsy lunge to knee tuck. Okay, so place your hands behind you, so curtsy lunge and then when you come here, you're gonna do a knee tuck. Okay, so we're working the legs, we're working the glutes, inner thighs, and obliques at the same time. Good. Okay, get your balance as well by focusing on one point in front of you. If you lose the balance, you can always step with your foot down. It's totally okay. Really engage your core. of your break and we're gonna do on the other side now the same exercise always make sure that your shoulders are back and down abs engaged and good stepping back and do a knee tuck you can also step it here and back knee tuck so if you think that you don't have a good balance you can always Adjust the move according to your needs, to your fitness level. Go slow and control. driving your knee towards your elbow as much as you can exhale and go slow in this motion Shoulders back and down, open and touch 
to the side with your fingers really move your body and exhale you can also place the feet down whatever it's good for you abs engaged squeeze it okay next one get up side jump lunges next cardio and leg whenever I have my hair down there everywhere okay so booty back back is straight the other leg is straight both feet step straight and just change it okay the position from the side should be like this okay open up booty back and engage your abs as well focus the pressing the hips backwards okay And exhale, touch down. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, next one we're gonna have goblet squat or just a regular front squat with a pulse. And we go. So, one, two, stand up. One, two, stand up. Squeeze. One, two. Stand up, squeeze, one, two. Pulls, pulls, up, pulls, pulls. From the side, squeeze. If you have weights, have it in front of you. Good job. You can also speed it out. Okay, wonderful. Next one we have burpee. And it's gonna be burpee with a push up on one leg. So when you jump down, cross your feet. Okay, go down. Nice push up, jump up, up, down. Push up. Jump up. Jump up. Let's go. For this one just stay here if you feel comfortable and knee tuck and down change the side and the same exercise on the other side uh, if this will be too hard you can always go on the elbow and you just don't do the knee tuck all right it's totally okay make sure that 
the elbow, uh, wrists and shoulders are in one line. Knee tuck. Go slow with a control movement. forward. This workout is totally suitable also for the beginners, I would say. It's not like some crazy fancy moves. It's just basic moves that back should actually really work. Kick forward. Heels forward. Lean backwards when you do the kicks. Go on your elbow, or you can stay on your hands. Make sure that you're not sagging your hips down or have them up like this. Just one straight line, heels pointing backwards, hands and shoulders in one line, abs engaged, press through your hands up, squeeze everything, the whole body is tight. This will bring your plank to another level. Really squeeze your legs, your glutes, your abs, your arms. That's really hard. But it's really, really good exercise. All right. Next one. We have touchdowns. That mean, means... We're gonna go into the lunge like this, squat again, lunge the other side. When you do the side lunging, or make sure that you're pivoting the back uh, foot as well. Touch down, touch down, squat, touch down. Your legs are wider. Good, you can also speed it out. Back straight, abs engaged. Let's go. Okay. Next one, craft all touches. You're going to go into tabletop position and you're going to touch your toes with the opposite hand. So, you come up, touch it. Down, touch it. If this is too hard for you, you can always go down, reset and lift up. You don't have to touch. Reset, lift up, okay? But if you're already accustomed to the exercise, touch down, touch down. Really try to lift your body with your core. It's a great exercise for your balance, for your coordination. For your core strength, arm strength. All right, next one is one funny exercise. It's a mommy kick. So basically, you're gonna kick your legs in front and arms like this. Okay. 
just like that. Your arms are on the level of your shoulders, kicking forward, leaning backwards. And there we go. That's why it's called a mommy, mommy kick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Breathe. Abs engaged. Let's go. You're gonna feel all the pain in your shoulders. Oh, okay, nice one. Kick through push-ups. Okay, hope I don't sleep in this one. Okay, so. Step to the side, then kick through, going backwards, do a nice push-up. The other side, step aside, kick through, push-up. You can totally do the push-up from your knees. Also use weights here. We can do this, come on. My sweat is dripping on the floor. If you can hear, strong legs, let's go. Okay, good. Next one we have knee hugs to leg abduction. It's gonna be a little bit harder than regular knee hugs because you will reset, you will pause the momentum with your leg abduction on the bottom. So, one knee hug and now legs abduction and pull yourself back up. That's the tricky part. You have to have really good control and core strength to pull yourself up. Try not to touch your toes on the ground. One more. Oh, all right, one more exercise and then the last one for cardio. Okay, so now, pike press. Go into your down bar position or pike press position. Get hands on the ground and you're just gonna lower down. Down on the straight legs. You can have legs wider apart, but if you keep them together, it will give you more challenge. Also, if your hands are closer, you're gonna work more on your shoulders. If they're a little bit wider apart, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Okay, and we have final exercise. And it's gonna be oh, six mountain climbers to uh, drop on the floor. Whew. And let's go. Two, three, four, five, six. Down. Down the cap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 
hard, 20 seconds to go. super hard uh, it's not it's like beginner intermediate I would say um, but you can try it is body weight you can do it totally at home especially now since we have crisis with this coronavirus all over the world there's a good chance that you start working out from home stay safe stay germ viruses and bacteria free and uh, yeah, soon I will have my web page on, um, on running, launching very soon with my weekly uh, exercises. So I will post exercise and every single day and every week you're going to get a new schedule. So all the information will be on my website as soon as I launch. It's not very far away, so give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like this idea of me going finally on that really, really good uh, workout videos flow for every single day for you guys. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, all I want for you now is to be safe, be cautious and uh, protect yourself. In Seychelles, we are still coronavirus free. We don't have a single patient, thank God. But I don't know what will happen in the future. Hope this will stay like that. All right, stay safe and see you next time with an awesome training and workout. Peace out. Keep on smiling and train hard. Ciao.